Yes, fair viewer, it's been two weeks since last I posted a video on this channel, but there have been reasons. What have I been up to? Well, I have marched the market streets of Marrakesh. I have roamed the ruins of Rome. I have eaten a lot. I have driven a lot. I've experienced exhaustion and a mild case of trench foot. Oh, please tell us more about your feet. And I'm as heavy as I've ever been. But that was week one. For week two was the road to recovery. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I've been up to. Hello, one and all. Uh, yeah, a bit of a catch-up video for you guys today. I'm a bit disappointed in myself. Uh, it's just the beginning of the new year and I've already kind of fallen behind on things that I wanted to do and uh, commitments that I've made. I don't like doing that sort of thing. It pisses me off, but there have been reasons for it. God damn it is windy here today in my fair Isle of England, Hampshire. But I thought that it was best to be able to give you guys a bit of an update so I can check in with you guys and uh, see if I can wangle some sort of video out of this shit. So yes, it's been two weeks since last I posted a video on this channel. And uh, it's been quite a lot that's happened in that two weeks. Any of you who watch my Free To Be Who I Be music review channel may have seen a review I did of a band called Ginger. And I filmed that when I was in Marrakesh. That was quite an experience. And uh, I am going to be doing a video based on my uh, experiences in both Marrakesh and Rome, because there's definitely something there. You always learn something, I think, when you go traveling. Yes, I was in Marrakesh for four days, and uh, very good it was as well. Certainly an eye-opening experience. Worked a lot, moved around a lot, and uh, I ate a lot of fantastic food. I'll say this, Marrakesh is some amazing food. A lot of this video is gonna be about my um, physical state at the moment and my intentions for the new year. The, uh, God damn it. Wow, this is really windy. The food in Marrakesh was absolutely awesome. Despite how much I ate out there, I pigged out quite a lot. I felt pretty good from it. It was all fresh, it was all organic. Even the bread, which I ate quite a lot of, which is so goddamn good. It was all handmade. It was all freshly prepared. All the meats were as fresh as it gets. And there was tons of salads vibrant salads and uh, vegetables with every meal as well, even breakfast. So I felt really good based on that. But I was there for four days, got back into England, Hampshire, and had, I think it was about 36 hours to prepare to leave for Rome. And uh, I didn't get much time to do anything other than obviously, oh fuck's sake. So that time was pretty much spent preparing for Rome, getting clothes washed, all the rest of it. Had to pop back into work briefly, and then I was back on a plane for Rome. And these were pretty extensive, long work days. Rome itself was pretty cool. If there's one thing I did find a little disappointing, however, it was actually how non-foreign Rome felt. It felt like an extension of London. Having said that, it was a wonderful city. Amazing food, of which I ate far too much. And uh, of course it's Italy, it's gonna be great food. It's all pastas and ice creams. And as amazing as it was, it did take a toll on me. I felt pretty goddamn exhausted by the end of it. Now, in terms of Rome itself, I visited uh, the Vatican, which was amazing. The Pantheon, which was a religious experience. That really was an incredible building. I absolutely adored being in that place. And of course, we went to the Colosseum, but we were there for work and we were doing pretty goddamn long days. Now, on top of that, I didn't have any goddamn internet access. My phone provider, despite claiming that it was part of the EU and therefore my data and everything would remain uninterrupted and be able to use that with no problems. I couldn't get the damn thing working in Rome. Piece of shit. On top of that, the B&B, &B, which was lovely by the way, the cleaner, who was lovely by the way, managed to somehow turn off the router for the Wi-Fi in the goddamn place. So we didn't see her for a couple of days. 
so I didn't even have any internet access back at the hotel. I was intending to uh, film and upload stuff uh, when I was out there, I wasn't able to do that. Uh, not only that, but for my music channel, I wasn't able to access any music because I wasn't able to download anything. I wasn't able to, you know, I wasn't able to get on Spotify or anything to be able to download any goddamn music or do any research. It's amazing how reliant you do get on the Wi-Fi. That's part of my excuse for not doing videos. Rome was glorious. It was fantastic and I would happily go back. But it did rain a hell of a lot when I was out there. And I was wearing my sketches. It's all I bought there. Lightweight and comfortable, why not? Good arch support. However, on the day that we were traveling back, it absolutely pissed it down. It pissed it down for a lot of the time we were out there. But uh, yeah, it was really raining and my feet got absolutely soaked. And because I didn't have a spare pair of shoes and uh, I was heading towards the airport to get home, I basically spent about 12 hours in incredibly soaked shoes, which I didn't really think that much about, to be honest. It was just kind of, it's what it was at the time and you have to deal with it. However, it did give me a bit of a case of trench foot. I noticed a couple of days ago that my feet had completely dried out and um, I got this real stabbing pain in the bottom of my right foot, the sole of my right foot. And it turned out that uh, all the skin had completely dried out and split. I've got all these lacerations across the soles of my feet. It's all right when you get walking because you kind of get warmed up to it, but the problem is because everything's splitting up again, nothing really gets a chance to heal. So I've had a bit of an issue of being able to get out and do what I want to do as much, but I've still, I refuse to stay inactive. Nice little visual for you there. So once I got back to England, Hampshire, I fully intended to get back on to doing my videos, but I, actually, I was absolutely exhausted. Out of nine days, I was away for seven of them and four of those, even though it wasn't like tremendous distances in terms of flights, they were still like 12 hour uh, sort of travel days between getting to the airports and flying, waiting around and uh, getting from the airport to the hotel, etc, etc. So I did have a lot of long travel days and it all kind of caught up with me. I was absolutely exhausted by the time I get back. And like I said, the um, heavy amount of carbs that I ate in Rome really kind of seem to take its toll as well. So that gets us to here, fuck's sake. And I also knew that I'd have loads of videos to get done this week. So I was kind of in that conundrum of, do I work my ass off trying to just catch up and then try and catch up more the next week and it just has this sort of domino effect kind of thing going on? Or do I just concentrate on what I needed to do at the time? And uh, I, I just, yeah, basically I didn't upload a video for a week. So that's why. Now over the past week, I've actually uh, done a lot of what I wanted to do the first week of January, but I wasn't able to because of all the amount of traveling and work that I was gonna have to do. I'm kind of glad that all of that's out of the way now, because now I can concentrate on what I wanna do, which is get my fitness levels back up, get my uh, weight under control, and really concentrate on my YouTube channels. Now, I weighed myself this morning and I'm 225 pounds. Now, I'm not a small guy, I'm just shy of six foot, and I have a large frame, but even so, 225 pounds is a lot. That's just, uh, that's over 16 stone for my fellow England Hampshire folk. So yeah, that needs to be remedied. So what have I been doing this past week? Well, other than work, I have been, I've started doing DDP yoga again. Fantastic program. I've been doing it on and off for years and uh, I got really good results with it. And uh, probably over the past six months, I've really let that slide. And since I've stopped doing it, I've gotten all sorts of problems with lower back pain and uh, mobility issues. But I've started doing that again. And it's an eye-opening experience. I think any of you have, or I think any of you have done exercise programs in the past, you get up to a certain standard and you feel really good. And you kind of, uh, you kind of think that, that fitness is always there. And uh, basically at the beginning of last week, I did my first session again and I was amazed at how out of shape I was. I felt absolutely fucked. I've done something every single day since then. And uh, I've done four 20 minute plus sessions. And the last one I did, which was yesterday, was way, way, way easier. So I'm already starting to feel the benefits of doing it again. And it feels good. On top of that, I've had a fiddy bit, a fiddy bit, for, uh, for quite a while now, but I've not been using it to its full potential. 
So what I have started doing, and I've actually been doing this since uh, since the beginning of January, actually, I've been making sure I've been getting at least 12,000 steps in a day, which equates to over five miles of uh, various movement. If it gets to nine o'clock at night and I haven't achieved that, I will literally walk in my room until I, uh, until I get my 12,000 steps. I used to do that all the time and uh, I kind of enjoy it. I just put on some, I just listen to a podcast or some music and I just, uh, <laughs> I just walk in my room. Might sound a bit odd, but if there's something you want to achieve, then uh, you shouldn't really be stopped. And if that's the way that you have to do it, and that's the way you have to do it, so fuck it. Some of you may be aware of a guy called Timothy Ferris. Uh, he's kind of like a body hack guy. Very intense guy, very intelligent guy, but he's uh, written all sorts of books. The 4-Hour Work Week, The 4-Hour Cookbook, The 4-Hour Body. He's got a podcast of his own, which is highly worth checking out. I remember reading something by him years ago, how it's very beneficial to get 30 grams of protein within the first 30 minutes of you waking up. So I've been doing that all week. Unfortunately, I've had to use a protein powder, pulse in whey protein, which is a pretty uh, clean protein. It's none of that bodybuilding shit. I just don't have time in the morning to be able to prepare like uh, some eggs or something like that, which I'd love to be able to do, but uh, I, I'm not, I don't find it that easy to eat first thing in the morning either. So I've been trying that and there's been a few things I've noticed. My concentration, that fuck, my concentration levels have increased quite a lot since I've been doing that. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong at the moment. So the mixture of uh, doing kind of running on the running on the spot, making sure I'm getting all my steps in, um, getting all my DDP yoga in, getting more protein in. I've cut way, way, way back on uh, processed foods. I've been eating as sort of, I wouldn't go so far as organic, but I've been eating fresh, shall we say. I've been eating as nature intended. And over the course of this past week, apart from trench foot, I've been feeling pretty good. I think I've gone on a bit too much on this. I just kind of wanted to fill you guys in where I've been and assure you that I am going to keep on doing videos. I'm going to try and get back on track a bit now. But yes, my intentions are going forward. Weight loss, or more importantly, fat loss. Get my energy levels up because there's a lot that I want to achieve. I'm going to be sticking to my DDP yoga. For any of you out there of joint pain or sitting at a desk all day or whatever, I highly recommend doing something like DDP yoga. It's fantastic. And Diamond Dallas Page is... <laughs> A great guy as well. Let me know how you guys are doing. Uh, I know a lot of you responded to the previous video I did on three years sober. It was quite encouraging to hear from a lot of you as well that uh, some of you have been going through your own shit and uh, you kind of uh, taking the bull by the horns and uh, not uh, being defeated. So I like to hear that sort of stuff from you guys. I hope to be back next week with a proper video. Don't know what it's going to be about yet. But that's another thing as well that I want to achieve with these videos. I want to try and have fun with them. I want to be a bit more creative with them, and I haven't been. I've kind of fallen into the same trap that I've done with my music channel, which is great, I love doing it, but I kind of wanted to be a bit more creative with these. So, I don't know. i got plans. Let's just leave it at that. Thanks for watching again. Hope you're all doing well. Stay in touch with each other if need be, or, or don't. And uh, I will be back if not before next Tuesday.